Hey, what's up guys? So we have the pleasure of training with Ben Pakulski today. Ben's gonna be putting us through a chest workout. Um, I wanted to bring you guys something a little different. You know, Pure Muscle Fitness, we have so much variety of equipment here and I know not everyone around the world has access to all these crazy cool machines. So I wanted to break it down to more basic exercises today and get Ben to show us, you know, the most optimal way to, you know, perform these exercises. <laughs> so we'll probably be doing uh, like a, a dumbbell press, maybe a Smith press, Smith machine and maybe a pec deck. Um, keep it basic so this is, these are, you know, techniques and things you guys can 100% apply to your training. Um, so on the way over here, I already had my pre-HD Ultra. I've been using the Ultra lately. Um, I'm five weeks out from my next competition. And as I get closer to a competition, I tend to like back off the stimulants a little bit. But right now, I'm still using the Ultra, but I will switch to Elite eventually. And then during my workout, which I already have pre-mixed, um, I have one scoop of Carb HD. I have 10 grams of fermented EAAs, and I add a quarter teaspoon of uh, Redmond Real Salt. So I basically mix that, and I'll basically drink that from the start of my workout, and I'll finish it about three quarters of the way through my workout. I'll sip on that. So we're gonna get started. We're gonna locate Ben, Ben's over here. So we're gonna talk to him about the rundown. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely excited about, you know, this workout today. I don't, I rarely do these. Okay, just a big step forward. forward. Gonna probably need lots of correction. Okay, full pause at the back. Let's go up a little higher. Good, squeeze elbow to elbow, right? So all the way across the back. Keep this back as long as you can. And now go, go ahead and go through. Yeah, there you go. Okay, drop that, put it back. So here's what I'm seeing you do. You're locking this this way. I want you at the back to externally rotate a little bit. Open okay. it up. So not here, but just like, right? Open so, up. So, yeah. So I mean, when you're, so you're strong in here, so you want to stay here. Yeah. But this is a weakness for most guys. So you want to be able to open up. Okay. And then start from there. Open up. Pull through. You know what? There's just so many ways to do the cables. I've never been able to find an exact, you know what I mean, form or technique that I feel comfortable with. So it's going to be nice learning this one. You know, you look at people do cable flies, you get 10 different people, you'll, you'll see 10 different forms. Well, so my logic is like, this isn't going to be a mass builder. Yeah. This is to develop integrity at the length and the shortened position yeah. and get that scapula moving properly, right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, so nice and tall. Wait, brace your abs down. Good, extend up through here. Tuck your chin in this way, like this. Yes, yeah, so you'll feel like your back extend through there. Yep. Come up here a little bit. Now think about pulling from there down toward the midline. So externally rotate all the way, open up like biceps to the ceiling. Pull. So you're not pulling from here, you're pulling from here. Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> open. And it's like the hands are just coming along for the ride, right? There you go. Cool. So think of what's happening right here, from there. Wow. Yep, pull, yep. Length, every time you come back, stop. Wait, wait, don't go yet. Brace the ribcage down. There, now go. You'll feel that lengthen up the pec a lot. Yeah. Open it up, bring wow. your ribcage down. Good. Resist the urge to, dri to drive your chin forward. Keep your chin tucked in back, like you're doing double chins. There you go. Keep that spine nice and straight. Yep. Oh, Exaggerate the external rotation. Yep, there you go. Wait, yep. Good, exhale before you go. There, yep. Now don't go faster, go harder. Contract harder, don't move faster. So man, my approach to everything is just like, look where you're weak and make it better. Yeah. And everything just progresses. Man, it's felt really yeah, cool. So like you, your pec development, again, I don't know if I've ever seen your pecs, but it looks like from in this point, it's a little underdeveloped. So by doing this and lengthening, we're gonna allow you to use it from there. So it's a fully lengthened pack and squeezing across the yeah, body. Yeah. So it's not forward, it's like pulling this to here. So the shoulder stays back as long as you can. You get to this point and the shoulder kind of pulls it through the body. It's never forward. Yeah. You know what? Let's try are you leading? Are you sort of like pinky pulling with a pinky? I'm not, man, I'm literally trying to get that, let the hands drag. Just dragging. They're tight. They're, yeah. they're, they're as stiff as I can make them, but it's literally like my, all my focus is right there. If I were to close my You're eyes. You're pulling with here. I'm thinking about this yeah. to here. This is just a hinge. Yeah. Yeah. Get that length of position, and then it's like turning up, up. bracing Lock this. Down. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is never gonna be a mass builder. 
Yeah. But it's really good to improve the integrity of the shoulders. Yeah, and you feel like doing uh, an exercise like this before moving on to other movements yeah. is gonna sort of prime the muscle to fire properly and warm well, up and, and just like as a default, if you improve stability of the shoulder, the pecs can work harder. Yeah. So if we improve the stability of the scap, improve the stability of the shoulder, the pecs are able to work harder because of stability. You're gonna get more yeah. out of them. Yep. Yeah. Really exaggerate that length. Turn open, yep. See if you can turn from the, tr the shoulder, like turn the bicep to the ceiling. There you go, nice. Yep. And so the way you contract the back is keeping this super tight. That's it. Keep this tight as long as you can. So way back, way back. Yep. Go, go, go. Now you let it go. Yep. No bounce. Squeeze. Squeeze from the back. Full pause. Contract as hard as you can. Now move through that. There you go. Extend further. Try to reach for me. Reach. There you go. Trying to pull that to there. Go. Squeeze. Pull, pull, pull. There you go. Don't rush. Contract. Make the muscle work. That's better. Squeeze from the back. Squeeze as hard as you can from the back. I'll show you one more variation that's, um, if, you, if you figure this out and you can get it, you're going to love it. Some people in the beginning don't like it because it's yeah. hard. Huh, interesting. The, the really, this is, you feel a little in your pecs. Usually after the set's done, you feel it. Yep. But the real benefit here is learning how to contract your, your scapular retractors, your traps, your rhomboids, at the same time as coming through with a pec. Okay. See, a lot of guys who when they train their chest are doing this, right? Yeah. Okay, you gotta keep it back and then let your scapula move. So it's keep, keeping it back at the same time while my pecs contract and then finishing the rep. So it's really we're training here, the- We're here. Exactly, here. yep. So we're here. Okay, so up here, really try to up, upwardly rotate, externally rotate. Good, and now pull from here, scap, retract and depress. And then as you come through, it's internal rotation. Yep. Try to keep this back as long as you can. Upwardly rotate, pull back and down first, separate movement, hold this back. Good. Yep. You're aiming more like up here. Okay. Just more like kind of like an upper chest. There you go. Oh yeah. We go really let it stretch, externally rotate a little bit. As you come through, pull here, hold, squeeze. There you go. Touch like the back of your hand together. Turn them. Oh, this way. Yep. So here you're external rotating, external, external. Here. Yep. And then as you come through, come through, we're going pushing. Internal. Yep. Oh shit. Yep. Yeah. There you go. Nice. That's gonna be better. Oh, it's a hard contraction. Right <laughs> yeah. There you go. Found it. Oh. Yeah. When you finally find it, it's great. Oh, man. It's like a short range of motion too. Yep. It's cool. Very cool. Man, it's so like I've never said, felt it's, before. Yeah, it's not a mass builder. It's just, I mean, it looks like you're crazy pumped. Yeah. But no, um, it's, it's more like a like let's improve stability and, and coordination. So all movements in the body happen as like it's called the motor engram, coordination of movements. Like when I throw a ball, it's a sequence of muscle contractions. Yes. So we're training that sequence, right? So when I do a bench press, say do incline, this is supposed to stay back and then it comes through. It's like a natural rhythm of the scapula, where some people have a dysregulated rhythm, meaning they just, as soon as they start to move, everything comes together. Right away. And those are the guys that push here and push here, right? Yeah. So this is the, that's what I find this works for. Yeah. So what are the cues here? Like any, any Yeah, cues actually, shoulder? grab 40. 40? Just so you can, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go real slow. Yeah. Feel the length in the pec. Take your hands an inch wider and, and pull your scapula back against the bench. Good. Bring those elbows up a tiny bit, right there. You feel length in your pec? Yep. Put your head back. Good, lift that chest to the ceiling. Good, so now keep your shoulders back into the bench. Shove into the bench as hard as you can. Yep. The longer you keep those shoulders back, the better. Go ahead and press up. Now the shoulders come through. Come, now they come through, yep. So come, don't let them come down, come up a little bit. Good, yep, press into the bench and let them come through. So the scabs do protract as you push through. So those elbows couldn't drop. Imagine you're between two planes of glass. You're, just, you're up here, you're between two planes of glass, just come straight across the body. Yep, don't let them come down at all. Yep. So you're pulling this to here. So it's like an in and out movement rather than up and down. Think about yeah. pulling in toward the middle line of the body. Yep. Keep this up. Find that length. Head back, chest back. Good pause, lift the chest up. Big stretch, pause at the bottom, go wider. Squeeze through it. Good. So all the motion happens here. Resist the urge to drop those elbows down. Elbows high, elbows high, elbows high. Yep, 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 good. Oh my God, it's fucking burning. Good. <laughs> oh, good. Oh. 
Oh. And this form is, is basically the same if someone's performing incline, flat press, pretty much More or less, dumbbell. yeah, yeah. So the way to think about it, man, is like, think of planes of movement. So once I choose, so this, this dumbbell only exerts force in one plane, straight up and down. Yeah. So whatever muscle fibers are in that direct plane, I want to, those are the ones I'm going to challenge. As soon as I start doing stuff like this, I'm coming out of the plane of movement, shifting the focus to my, to my delt. So I just really want to be here, straight across. So if it's not facing, it's like, and right, you, so I'm pulling this, boom. Do right. people want to be careful with the depth on a movement like this as you're coming wide? Can it become dangerous on the shoulder and the integrity of the shoulder or doing something like that? With, the, with your amount of muscle, no. Okay. Right, with someone who's got like no muscle, then yeah. Yeah. So it's like degrees of shoulder extension. So right here, my shoulder is neutral. So you start going back here, the shoulder is extended. As long as I'm not getting more shoulder, so the problem exists when you go shoulder extension without retraction. It's like forward and you're extending. Right. You so need not, that to be back. Right, so most people have a problem with retraction, so they can't keep it back. But it's not a weak retraction, it's usually because the shoulders are flexed. So yes. the reason I said for you, put your head down, because as soon as you do like this, your spine's going like this. Yeah. So you gotta be here. See how much you can get rid of that, that arch, so like crunch down a little bit. There you go. Yeah, feel awkward. Yeah. Really exaggerate that length stretch. There you go, nice. Oh yeah. Get another contract through and squeeze like you're posing. Make sure everybody those striations right across the chest. Squeeze. Oh. Shove them back, man. So there you go. Flatten that out. There you go. Oh. Length, 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 length. Yep. Oh. Try to stay high. Try to hold them hands back. Good. I got you, man. I got you. Grind through these. Keep going. Drop the elbows back a little bit. Hands back. There you go. Keep going. I don't care if the reps get shorter. You just keep going. Even if it's partial, just keep going. That's it. Keep going. Yep. You're going to fight through it. Drive into that bench. Drop the hands back toward me. There you go. Yeah, come on, buddy. Yo, at least three. Drop the hands back. Push the hands back into me. Push. Yep. Find that length. Find that length. Find that length. Go. Keep going. Keep going. You got partials. Keep going. Grind. It's all about that first inch. Contract. Same thing. Don't change it. Don't change it. Squeeze. Stop. Full stop. Driving back. Now put contract from there. Good. Do it again. Contract into the bench. Squeeze your back. Pause. Full stop. Full stop. Go. There we go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, that was a build up. Oh, that's great. That one's like deep that's into fun. like, it's really like, it's like yeah. stre fascial stretching. It's almost like uh, when I'm doing, you know when you do forearms? Yeah. <laughs> when you're like, yeah. burns. Squirming. I just feel really stable, like, yep. push, like through my feet. That's why know? I never use this fucking thing. It, always, it just gets in the way. Like yeah. I'd rather drive it into my great. feet. Yep. Good job. It's thoracic. Okay, so you can keep chin down. Yeah, locked so, down. right, so I want my rib cage and my pelvis to be stacked, but I don't want to be, so if I, if I large from the lumbar, yeah. then the, it's happening from here. So it's like I'm lifting up from here, so I don't want that. I want it to happen from my thoracic spine. So most body blows come in here in the thoracic spine. Yes. So if I extend this way, yes. my lower back, then my thoracic spine rounds, right? Because it has to compensate. So as I, if I round this way with my lower back, my thoracic spine has to go the other way. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because the spine has to be it has to be stacked. Yeah. So if I go here, then my thoracic spine all of a sudden has to go in the opposite direction. So I want to keep this neutral, so the rib cage stays down. Neutral. But my chin is tucked, so it's there. So I'm trying to keep like a thoracic extension, not a lumbar extension. Does that make sense? So in saying that, are you kind of like you're almost neutral spine? Totally. Okay. Yep. Yeah, but you want it to happen here, here not here. Not, nothing, okay, right. nothing in the lower portion. Right. It's all... So yes. again, but remember, everyone's different. So yeah. like, his mechanics may be different than yours. Right. So like, the orientation of your rib cage is, is a big difference. So yeah. if you lay down on the ground, his sternum may be, your sternum may be like this, his yeah. sternum may be like this. Right. Which means it's a completely different exercise. Yeah. Cody, come here for a minute. You got a tank top on? So see how that sternal angle is almost horizontal? Yes. So for him to use his pecs, like if he wants to use those lower, those lower pec fibers, like all this, yep. this needs to become in vertical alignment. So he has to then arch up massively, like arch up a lot. Put your feet up on the bench. Good, now lift your butt in the air. Higher, higher, like you're trying to go decline. 
Right, so, so see how that now, all those pec Changes fibers are in angle. vertical alignment? Yeah, it's all up So he would have to do that, but you don't necessarily want to do it by doing this, you would just change the angle of the bench. The angle of the bench. Yeah, so that's how we think about this, well, right? He so, looks like he is missing muscle here in comparison to other So, so here's an important, pecs. I don't know if you've ever seen me do this, but so if we follow his pec insertion out and we actually go, okay, there's the muscle, there's the muscle. You can see the top of the muscle is so lean, right? Yeah. So follow those in where they kind of meet on the, on the humerus, is it, just go like that. See how they kind of meet? You can find yeah. some imaginary points, like right there, you can feel it's a tendon. Yeah. So if he's laying on a dumbbell and he's holding that dumbbell through his hand, make a fist. If he's pressing down here and that dumbbell is exerting force straight down, the, the muscles that are working the most are right here. So there's a straight line through that resistance, through his insertion, which is here, up through his pec. So on a flat bench press, is. if he's using this angle of press, that's what he's training the most of. Right. Right, so his front delt. If he starts coming up here, now what is he working? Now it's also stretching through here. Exactly. So these retention. become movers and these become movers. Whereas if he wants to work this, he has to change the angle, drive the hips up again. Good. So now if he wants to press through, now that becomes, see how now these things are all prime movers in that position. Right, right. So now like that will be the greatest mover in that position. See how it's really nice and hypertrophy there? Yeah. So like he probably wow. does that a lot. That's cool. Right? And if we go fly, now he can actually do more of a decline and probably get all this. So man, if you want to build like that part of your pec, which is visually, that's the weakness, is you need to do a decline fly. Okay. Yeah, because that's the only way you're going to access that. Okay. Wow. Yeah. That's cool. Does that makes sense? Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Ben. So that's yes. how I'm looking at you and going, well, your body's different than his. Yeah. So like, we're just trying to find to, the, the best position to advantage yeah, the specific yeah. part of the pec we're trying to work. I don't even know. Let me take my throw. See what my pecs are. We? Yeah. yeah, so this is really good for your like majority of your pecs. Like you're a guy who should build a great chest. Yeah. But to do, a, to do an incline, we'll do a decline today for sure. Go ahead, yeah. just go do a couple reps. So where your pecs, your pecs are kind of um, faltering is you're trying to, as soon as you press, it's starting to come down here. So just right. be, be aware of like that. And if we want to work more lower chest, we just change the angle of the bench. Right. Yeah, which we should do today. Let's okay. do it. Yeah. How much overhead pressing do you do? Not a lot? None right now because my uh, tear in the... Do that with that arm. Both arms. Good. Just go like that and try to keep a vertical forearm as you press through to the top. All the way through, all the way through, all the way through. Without arching the lower back, so brace down. Good. So press like that. Just do a few reps like that. Let me see what that does. Ooh. Keep going. All the way through, all the way through, all the way through. Yeah, so dude, that needs to be a part of your routine. Lay on here, Dorian. So now do the same thing, but yeah, trying to just press through. <laughs> press all the way up. <laughs> right. <laughs> Good. A lot of strength there. So, so drop the chin down, lift your head up off the pad a little bit. Good, so we're extending through the thoracic spine. Yep. So, come here, Cody. See how this all just like flattens out? Yep. So we need that to be like, Thicker, so the way we're gonna have him do that, you guys train together more than we do. So yep. press through like that. So now as he presses through, try to reach it up. See how it starts to activate a little bit. Mm -hmm. So can you get all the way up? Ooh. See it starts to activate. So the scapula doesn't want to upwardly rotate. So this trap up here is not doing what it's supposed to do, or it's or it's overactive. So come down, downwardly rotate the scap, down like you're contracting your lats. Actually, let's try this. Let's just go here, straight arm, and then go. Boom. Yep. See so you can get that. Yep. All the way up. Now reach for this guy, reach, 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 reach. Yep, so activate up into there. And now downwardly rotate. So see, oh, we're gonna activate all this. Keep yeah. going, do a few. Yeah, so if he wants to make this better, that's gonna be like, I would do this literally every workout, buddy. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we'll feel that scap. So think about what's happening with the scapula, nothing else. So when you feel that scapula upwardly rotate, so it's coming up into here. And as you come down, the scapula is downwardly rotating here and you're kind of contracting down in the lats. Yep. And then you've heard of like the IYT kind of stuff. So it's like, this. you can go from here, right? So turn the bicep to the ceiling. Okay. Yep. And you can come up here. Yep. Yep, exactly. Wow. A lot of that stuff, man. Like I would oh. start every upper body workout with that. It's crazy. Yeah. So the, the thing that's limiting your back growth is that, but that's limited by thoracic extension because you're here, because everybody in the world who doesn't understand this is here, me and myself included, you can't then, being in this thoracic flex position removes your ability to train your lats because as soon as I go here, my lat lengthens and it pulls on like this, which is what you're doing for a long time. So if you want to open up, yeah. so you can come down here. It requires this to be able to move. So you feel, I'm sure you just, just laying there, you felt that. It's like, I, I feel like activation in my traps, rhomboids, yeah. everywhere, it's all. And eventually it'll get easy and you add resistance just like anything else. But yeah. I would just make that like, I would become, if you want to build your back, you become obsessed with that. Okay. Yeah. And everything else. So before place. I train anything, do those. Dude, even squats, I would do that. Cause okay. like opening up that thoracic spine will open up your shoulders. Yeah. Every you know, morning I start doing like these, like the thread, the needles. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. The thoracic That's a good spine start. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Stop at the bottom. 
drive those sheet shoulders down. I can pin the lats down. Yep. We'll take the hands back a little bit. Yep. Come back toward me, come back, come back. Yeah, there you go, sick. Go aggressive into that bench. Nice. Squash this, squash it. Yep. Squash that. Yep, I got you, I got you. Keep going, push here, push here, push here. Come on, hard. Hard. Keep going, resist the urge to drop those elbows down. Yep, yep, yep. Nice, two, 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 come on, strong. Stay up, elbow hands back. Nice, good rep. Great rep, do it again, you got more, let's go. Big set, dude, big set. Come on, come on, strong. Elbows up. Nice rep, dude. Oh, yeah. Put those ones away, I'm not going to oh. use them. I miss having somebody to train with. It's always, yeah. it's always nice. It's fun, right? Do you like to tilt this back, you said? This should be okay. okay. It looks good for you, so it should be good. Yeah, I get motivated when I ask somebody who like, actually wants to train. Yeah, I don't get some of these guys that, that look at training like it's a fucking chore or something. It's like, guys, this is... It's, it's a gift. This is fun. <laughs> like, yeah. What are we talking about here? Squeeze the back. Let the back dictate how far you come back. Nice. Good. Good. That's it. Come on. Big up. Good job. My first time doing a dumbbell fly in about two years. Scapula back, shoulders yeah. back hard. Flatten out that spine. There you go. Lift the chest. And then you're lifting from Elbows. here. And around. Yep. So it's literally trying to pull this toward the middle line of the body. Pull this to here. Nothing else. Don't go up. Just pull it straight across. Yep. There's your tendon. Pull to there. Yep. There you go. At the top, your shoulders can drive forward a little bit. Squeeze them together. Yeah. Squeeze. There you go. Pull with those pecs, man. Like you're posing, like you're doing the most muscular on stage. Pull across with the chest. Nice. Go again. Go again. I got you. You're safe. Keep going. I got you. Yeah, let's go again. Come on. Stretch. Squeeze through. Don't throw it. Squeeze. Yeah, fucking pose. Most muscular. Let's go. Length. Most muscular. Pull. Yeah, come on. Go again. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go. Keep going. Come on. Dump the dumbbells and stay here. <laughs> dump them, just dump them. Stay here. Good, go, push. Go. Go. I'm always, always. Pull right there. Hold right there. Resist. Pecs, 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 pecs. Go, push. Just as much as you got. Squeeze, 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 pose, hold. Get on the bottom, stop. No great, no great. Go. Use the pecs only. Keep on, go, push, push them hands. Push, 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 push. Squeeze, hold, resist, 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 resist. <laughs> Fine like, stretch, no. Fine stretch, big stretch, big stretch, big stretch. Squeeze the back, go. Squeeze the pecs, squeeze the pecs, squeeze the pecs. <laughs> yeah, they're like, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they numb out. Oh, in the dumbbell fly, is it ever a good idea on the way down to do this or is it too dangerous? Yeah, no, totally. Yeah, it is. As long as it's controlled, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, so that is the chest workout today. I initially had plans to maybe do some arm training too, but that workout was very demanding for me. It was stuff that I've never done before. So I'm smoked, so we're gonna call it a day. So thanks to Ben for putting us through this chest workout. I'm hoping you guys you know, got a chance to learn a lot, get some value from this video. You guys can apply it to your training. Um, and hopefully we can you know, get back in the gym in the near future and uh, show you guys you know, some cool techniques for arm training. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below, anything you guys want to see. Until next time.